Hey everybody, I just thought I'd give you a really quick update on the issues that I was having with customer service for Nonstop Dog. I sent them the video that I made on YouTube. You can see the video. I will link it at the end of this video here about their Canix 2 harness and how many issues I was having with it. They basically told me that I wasn't using it properly and they wouldn't do anything for me. Uh, I was having issues with the front uh, carabiner here catching on the sides because the buckles were too small and it just kept catching it's on a run if my dog was going after a squirrel or whatever and it was just kind of unusable to me. They did respond back after I sent that video to them and they said that they would refund me for the harness that I purchased after I made the video. I ended up purchasing the Canix just the regular Canix not the Canix 2.0. This is the one that I had originally thought that I purchased but they actually didn't send me a receipt telling me which one I purchased. And it ended up that I accidentally must have purchased the Canix 2. And when it came, it just wasn't working out for me. So they refunded me for this one that I bought right after I made the video. This one's great. I love this harness. It's very similar to the one that I used for years. And you can see that it's got the bigger buckles on the side. And I haven't had any issues with this, even though it's a large. My last ones were mediums. They didn't have any mediums left in stock, so I ordered a large. And it seems to be all right. Maybe a tiny bit big, but because it's so much better than the other one, I'm going to stick with it for sure. I like it. So, I mean, it's too bad that they only reached out to me after I made a YouTube video, but at least it's better late than never, right? So I wanted to make sure that you guys knew this. I want to make sure that I'm totally honest in all my videos. And I feel that at this point, they've really redeemed themselves, uh, giving me a free harness. And the other thing that they said was that they had talked to their department that creates the harnesses and they were going to make sure that all the next harnesses have the bigger buckles on the side here to eliminate the issue so that other people don't have it. And hopefully they will listen to their customers and allow them to return the harness if it's really giving them problems like it was giving problems to me. In other words, hopefully they're going to have better customer service for the next person next time. Thank you so much for watching the video and make sure you hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one.